DNA translation converts the four-letter nucleotide language of RNA into the 20-letter amino acid language of proteins. After DNA has been transcribed into mRNA, this mRNA moves from the nucleus into the ribosome, where it gets translated. The ribosome consists of a small subunit and a large subunit. Each triplet of mRNA is called a codon. Each codon codes for a specific anticodon, which in turn is attached to a tRNA, or transfer RNA. Also, each tRNA is covalently linked to a particular amino acid. In other words, each codon ultimately codes for a particular amino acid. As there are four bases and each codon has three letters, we can take four to the power of three to get the total number of possible combinations, which is 64. Now, as there are only a total of 20 amino acids, this is more than enough. A codon table, such as the one shown on the screen, can be used to interpret what amino acid the mRNA will code for. It is read from the center outwards. Translation is carried out in four steps. Initiation, elongation, termination and disassembly. First, during initiation, the two ribosomal subunits bind around the beginning of the mRNA strand. Then, a tRNA, which carries an amino acid, enters the ribosome and with the help of its anticodon, binds to the first codon of the mRNA. Elongation starts when a second tRNA binds to the mRNA on the right side of the first, bringing with it the next amino acid, which binds to the first amino acid through a peptide bond. Then the first tRNA is ejected from the ribosome and the ribosome shifts one codon to the right. Now the next tRNA can bind on the right. This continues until a stop codon is reached. Termination occurs once such a stop codon is reached, and when this happens, a termination factor binds to the ribosome complex. This will cause the chain of amino acids to be released. Then the two ribosome subunits and the tRNA moves away from the mRNA in a process known as disassembly. If you wish to learn more about how to interpret a codon table, then check out this video. Until next time.